Well, we were in a commercial break. How you doing over there, Dan? I think I broke something. How's your hair? Well, it's fine. All right. And after coming out of the game, Carlos Perez. I don't know any franchise players that come off the um, bench. I don't know any Olympian that come off the bench. I don't know any All-Star that come off the bench. I don't know any former MVP that come off the bench. I don't know any three-time scoring champion come off the bench. I mean, I don't know any first team all NBA come off the bench. Why Allen Iverson? It's a hazard of the job. It's the on-ice reporter. Did you get hit down there, Pierre? Yes, I did, but I'm okay. That a boy. I don't think I'm bleeding. That a boy. No, I don't think I'm yeah, bleeding. You got a mark. I'm on TV, guys, sir. Yeah, a long walk right there. Look at that. Oh, she's oh, trapped. She's blocked. You're going to have to don't, don't go ice. on the ice. Don't go on the ice, Deb. We don't have enough insurance for this. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the water bottle, Blakey. Uh oh, she's stuck. <laughs> January 2nd, 1994, the Houston Oilers, on an 11-game winning streak, have to deal with internal troubles. A feud between offensive coordinator Kevin Gilbride and defensive coordinator Buddy Ryan boils over after Ryan disagrees with Gilbride's play selection. I think action speaks louder than words. <laughs> after being left in to give up nine goals against Detroit, Patrick Waugh made an important announcement on the bench. Now Patrick and Mario. Well, Patrick Watt talking to Ronald Corey. That's what he said last night, that uh, it was his last game in Montreal. November 2002, Richard Zednick and Carl Dykaus get into a scrap on the bench during a practice. December 29th, 1978, Ohio State legend Woody Hayes loses it when a Clemson linebacker, Charlie Bauman, picks off the Buckeyes QB to seal a Clemson win. Hayes would punch Bauman and an Ohio State player and was fired shortly after. I don't know what's going on with Robert Baker that just took a shot at Noel Prefontaine. Sure did. Unbelievable. And now we've got a fight going on with some fans. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna tell you, they jumped some, over the glass. Some fan went right over the glass. Oh, no. They oh, got dear. all of them in the bench. Yeah, no, the, oh, bit oh, of being oh there. look at Rob Ray. My God. It wasn't exactly self-defense after the first 10 punches. All I know is that the guy on TSN said that he landed 15 strong ones before the, you know, before the uh, police arrived. So, uh, anyway, give the fan credit. He hung in there for 15 good ones anyway. Sometimes it's just too inviting for coaches. They'll throw anything at their disposal. Look at here, look at here. Bobby Knight just threw his chair. chair across the free throw lane. Robbie Fatorek earned points for creativity by expressing his displeasure by throwing the bench itself. 